I guess ministry was kind of in the back of my mind. Maybe something I'd do later kind of came up and I kind of pushed it back again, something on the back burner until uh, we were in church one Sunday evening. And I just felt this weight on my shoulders. And, and I looked at my sister and I said, I have to go. And she knew right away that I meant I have to go to Bible college. Uh, I went to Mon for a year and then after that I went to Vanguard and did a degree with and then I went on the mission field for almost a year, and it was there that I really felt God wanted me to come back to Newfoundland, which is not really what I expected, uh, but I came back anyway. Um, I was the children's pastor at a church for a year and a half, and, uh, and then God led me to where I am now, to Arnold's Cove and Goobies and Sunnyside and Come By Chance. Okay, so originally um, this area had three separate Pentecostal churches. There was a Pentecostal church in Arnold's Cove, one in Sunnyside, and one in Goobies. Uh, now there is one congregation, but we have two buildings, and then we rent a third. Approximately six services a month we are in Arnold, Arnold's Cove. Uh, two services a month we're in Goobies, and uh, four times a year uh, we are in Sunnyside where we rent the Anglican church that we are sitting in right now to have those services. So we are multi-site in some sense but we're all one congregation so people will travel to wherever the service is and attend um, there. So but on Sundays it, it, it looks like that we just do church in different locations. So one of the most exciting things we've started is a kids program here in Sunnyside. We call it Sun Kids and uh, we have um, people from different churches uh, in Sunnyside that come and that volunteer and we're going through uh, a curriculum. Uh, I think it's been a great opportunity for us to connect to uh, people that normally would never come to church um, or people that would never come to our church because we're involving different denominations and it's been an opportunity to just create connections in Sunnyside and to recognize that you know even though we don't have a church building in Sunnyside um, God still very much cares about the people of Sunnyside. He's very concerned about them and wants um, them to know that he loves them. And uh, the kids program, I hope, uh, has been and will continue to be a great tool for that. Um, to recognize that you know, God is, is not just in the communities where there is a building. God is concerned about um, the kids of this community and the kids of every community. And the opportunity to, to do something in this community I hope shapes and changes um, the perspective of, of what God is doing and what God is capable of doing in, in communities. Another thing um, I think that's great that we've done to build unity is to have uh, small groups. We've taken a month in the fall and a month in the winter and done um, basically in-home Bible studies. So we did them in Arnold's Cove and in one of the other three communities on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And there's something about going into someone's home into their family space and just sitting and talking about God's Word, talking about the church together. And there's something about when you do that, it breaks down walls and it, it breaks down barriers that you can't break down on a Sunday. People will say things that they would never say in a testimony service because they don't feel comfortable. And you can pray for each other and talk with each other and share opinions that you might agree on or might disagree on. But when you have that unity and that relationship as a foundation, uh, I believe that we can agree to disagree and look past those things and learn from each other. And I think that's a picture of, of a healthy church. And to be quite honest, I think we're wasting the effort and the resource of time as pastors and as clergy by all of us doing our own separate things. And we're wasting energy and time that is very limited. And uh, I believe that we can do a lot better one of the things that we have done here, actually just this past Sunday, we held here in Sunnyside, uh, in this building, uh, an ecumenical Mother's Day service, which is, um, to my knowledge, the first time we've ever done that. The, the Anglican minister made a joke that I was the first Pentecostal to ever sign their, uh, their records as being the preacher on the Sunday service. And he said, that's such a good thing, and it should have happened before now. I 
think we need to get away from this idea that we need to all remain in our own silos. Some things we'll never see eye to eye on, some things we'll never agree on, and that's okay. But when we all agree on the majors and we're able to put some of those things we don't see eye to eye on aside, I think that speaks unity uh, to the community, which is a better witness, I think, than, than a lot of the things that we could do on our own. I think one of the keys to working together when there are so many different ages, um, so many different opinions, um, so many different thoughts uh, in the church, I think one of the keys to working together is being humble. Um, I remember one of the first Sundays uh, being a pastor in Newfoundland. I was sitting on the platform and the, there was a retired pastor and he had the song service. And I just, I think I was brought to tears just realizing that there is so much that I can learn from people that have already walked this path. There's so much to be learned um, from people who have years of ministry experience, whether that's vocational or not, years of walking with Jesus, um, so many things that I had to learn. And I think the key to walking unified despite the fact that there's going to be things that we're never going to see eye to eye on is that we need to be humble. And I'm so blessed to be in a congregation. I look at them and I'm like, wow, I get to pastor these people. Yet at the same time, they look at me and the, the message they relay to me is that they're learning from what I'm saying and that they're excited about how God is using me and they're coming with a spirit of unity and a spirit of humility. And they're also coming with uh, gratefulness. Um, and I think maybe I came into Arnold's Cove and surrounding area just so grateful that there was a church that would allow me to come and be their pastor. And they came into it so grateful that a young pastor would want to come and pastor a small, uh, predominantly senior congregation. And, and ever since then, we've just been operating in gratefulness, just so thankful for each other. And, uh, you know, there's a passage in the Bible, um, and it says, love covers a multitude of sins. I truly believe um, that as I love them and they love me, unity just flows naturally from that. Do that. You need to be intentional about building that unity around the church, making sure the church feels like every single person feels like they're important and they're a part of the church because they are and they should feel loved and valued because that's how Jesus feels about them.